Hello, it's me again. I was thinking there was already a film about how to clean the Dyson Cinetic Big Ball Absolute 2 um, dust. dust container, but um, yeah, there are films, but not about the tool, um, where it looks on the other side, like this. So I thought um, I'm going to take a video of that one as well. Um, I, you can follow with me uh, in my adventure. So first of all, I saw you open it like that, and then there is this button here. I saw that this is similar to the other ones, to the to the older version or to the different to the different version of that one. And um, you cannot see any screws from the top of here, but once you have removed the the dustbin, ah. Uh, you can see here the holes all around. Uh, looks like it's again it's a Torx screws, and you would need a, a very small. Well, you would need kind of a screwdriver for Torx. Well, I know somebody who has one, but um, I don't have that one. I just have these these bit which you can put in, but um, they will not go into the hole, obviously, too big. So I will try to unscrew that with a screwdriver, with a classic screwdriver, cheat a little bit. And I was told to be careful uh, in other videos about the, the rubber seals inside, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, what else do we have? So when you do that, do that on the ground um, that you can easily clean. So I went to the to a stone ground. Uh -huh. Something that moves, and here you can open it and take it apart. I guess this is going to be the easiest part to clean. I guess. Don't know yet. Looks ugly. Oh, all right. Give it a try. I have two flathead screwdriver, um, and I'm going to try pretty small ones. Let's see. Uh, wow. This is a really small one. Let's try that one. I'm really curious. Yeah, this one is even smaller. Yeah, here I have a kind of precision screwdriver set that is um, actually used for watches and very small things. But there's not enough power to do it with that. So um, I have to look for, for another solution. Okay, um, 
the screws in this hole are um, terrible small. I try to use a screwdriver and you see the one um, which is missing here. This is um, the one that fits into that screw head. It's a really tiny screw and um, I don't know if you can see the head, so this one does fit in plus minus, but um, then you don't really have the, the power to turn it. But in combination with a plier, um, like this, so, so I put it in here, take a plier, so push it down, turn, and first try it. To get the head, and get the screw out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws. I'm done. Okay. Now what's next? So, um, I had a lucky strike. I found a guy on YouTube who took the same unit apart and this guy is from Russia and he only speaks Russian and while doing so, while taking this part away, he moved it out of the picture so that you could only see some little bit of it like I do now and um, so it was hard to see how, the, how this plastic parts look like, how it is attached, but so at least I saw this this part of it a little bit, but you know when the light is not going quite well it, it's hard to recognize it. So, But, but in the end I found out, um, especially if I'm holding now very close so you can see it properly I hope. So you see this one is just a tooth, so to say, it just looks out a little bit. While these two have clearly a shape that it will only move in one direction. And if you just take it apart, it will break. And the others here, let me try to get the light right. Well, this is quite difficult. Maybe this way it works a little bit. You can see, you can only slide in I can show it to you. You can only uh, on the other side. You can only slide in from this side, and then it stops. So you have a wall on this side. You can slide in on this side. So there is only one direction this piece is going to move, and if you do it the wrong way, it will break. So how do you finally get this part away? It is kind of easy <laughs> once you know it. Well, you have to be careful. It is plastic and it is soft. When it sits on it here. Um, this thing here is, um, you can move it. So, this is quite easy that you take a screwdriver like the number three that I took here and move inside here and lift it a little bit. And you can go quite alongside inside, but be careful not to destroy the plastic. And then you can come in from the other side with another screwdriver. As I'm holding it in the air, I cannot do that. And so you can slowly lift it up and then push it down. And once you are over these um, noses here, 
once you're over these noses right on top here, these three, once you lift it above it, it's a piece of cake. All right, that's what it looked like. Let me turn around. And here you have the same on the other side. All right, once you have done that, you can remove the screw in here and you find some more dust, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so, now you can easily take it apart. Um, I think there is some... Here you can... Is it here or is it on the other side? But anyway, you have, um, you have, a, you have seals all around here and then um, the part here, this one, the metal one, and there are screws hidden below here. Um, so once you wash that, you will see the screws. Now this one is more difficult, obviously, as it is very deep. And within the dust, you cannot recognize anything. But I saw the Russian um, having, uh, well, getting out some screws down here, like another four or five screws. I don't, I can't remember how many. Um, let me see. Oh, no, wait, it is not just down here. Yeah, carefully remove here the seal. There are screws as well around here. One, two, three, four, five. And they look larger. Because the other one that I tried in the beginning is a Torx number eight. And I only, my set only goes as little as 10. Now let's see if this is a 10 around here. Looks like. Could be even more. Let me check the 15. This is a 15. Oh, lovely. Okay, so let's find the dust. Okay, here is the first one. So, oh, these are these long screws, um, very long, obviously. Put it on the ground. One. Two. There are many. And the last one. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. That's just. Ah. Come on. So. Okay. How many? Eight, eight screws to hold the first stage. I'm oh, sorry, I put it down to out of the out of the. So these these long eight screws were all around here. I hope I got all of them. Let me check. Yes, but I I think. He, now there is some more inside here, if I remember the video correctly. It will not come off now. So I gotta go to my 
sink. Unless it is only the one in the middle here. Let's give it a try. There is one. Oh, no. There is one here in the middle. Let's see if this is the last one. There is really scroll or if I'm just then and something is here. Oh, it is a very small one. Okay. Yeah. This is quite a small one. I got out here in the middle. It's Oh, like, I don't know, like as wide as my finger. This is one. Oh! Oh! And now, still holds somewhere, but I cannot tell how and why. Oh, we just have to wiggle, you say wiggle, yeah, just move it a little bit, so it will come off, and we have the two of them. Brilliant. I think this was the last stage, but I'm not 100% sure, however. It is unbelievable how much dirt is inside. I don't know how long this vacuum was in service, so don't ask me how long it takes to, um, to get that. I just know uh, the cable break and I wanted to fix it because I thought it was too bad to just trash it because the cable is apart. And then I saw the video where they clean this stuff out and then I thought, well, if I do the extra mile, why not do that mile as well? Now. I'm not sure if this is the final stage. I mean, it looks here with this red in between that there must be somewhere some more screws. It's just hard to see inside the... I see that everything is covered with dust. Really, everything. Uh-huh. No, I think I can see a screw head. At least two, three, four. Yeah, I think I can recognize it. I think I can see one here on the side. Yeah, and again a small one. I really have to get the Torx 8 to put it back together. Well, don't worry about the dust. You always have to think about the how shiny it's going to look like once the dust is off. I mean, it's just dust, is it? Now I saw the other one over here. This is really hard to see. Gotcha. 
I don't see anything, I just guess and feel. <laughs> and the other one I think is this one here. Yeah, got it. I hope it is just four. Let's see, it's moving. There, there must moves a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, here. Um, we have this little dome here in the middle, and here on the side you have these little round spaces. And there are the other two. So I had four around, and two in the center, so to say. Where they are sitting one, two, three, four around and two in the middle. This is it. You unbelievable. I will not, I, I think I'm not going to take apart that one. Um, probably I remove the, the rubber seal here, but. I think you can easily wash that when you leave it together, although there is some mechanics inside here with metal parts and they shouldn't be wet, so they will not rust, or catch rust, corrosion, but um, yeah, well, that's, that's the last one, that's the easiest one to take away, you can take away that one anytime you want. Um, in opposite to the, this part is by the way, this is called the cyclone. So, well, the cyclone is, and, and be very careful, they are really like, and how to wash that, it's going to be very, very sensitive part. There is another seal. And, but you recognize it, that you always had this, um, you had always a red stage in between. So, this one comes on top of this one. And this one then comes on top of this one. And there's always a red, a red one in between. Oh, screws. Hmm. Okay. So I leave that together as it is right now. And I really wonder how there are, why there are so many small holes and how the dust is going through. But that's the way it is, huh? I just, I should have put a, a, a paper below here, um, newspaper or anything. <laughs> it would have made, it would have made my life easier afterward to cleaning. Anyway, I think this is it for the moment. You can remove these, um, they are just made of rubber. You can remove these quite easily. And you have this rubber piece. You can see many movies about that on, 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 um, on YouTube. Two fell already off here. 
And I didn't take apart by now that one. Um, there should be no more screws. Just be careful not to destroy any seal. Be gentle. This one stucks a little bit here. Oh, oh that was nice. You can you can push it. Can I? Wait. Yeah, you can push here in the middle. Then it comes off. You can push here in the middle. These here. Then they come off. Kind of. Yeah. Wiggle it a little bit around. Almost there. Here we go. Now I have this one. And that one. <laughs> and the mechanics here to release the, the bin. Well, to get rid of the dust. Okay, I'm gonna cut here, wash it, dry it. Some people say let it dry for 48 hours, so two days, so that it's really properly dry before you put it together. And I think it's quite sensitive because um, if it is, would be still some moisture inside, the, the dust would stick immediately on it and, and all you've done by now uh, would be kind of for nothing. So, 